Legend of Total War here with part 77 of my Call of Warhammer Rage of the Dark Gods Let's Play campaign as the Warriors of Khorne. Previously, I don't know, we, we took a settlement or killed some people, I don't know, usual kind of shit. Um, it's been a few days since I've played it, but uh, episodes are catching up so I need to pre-record some more obviously. So, let's see, um, that's not my army. Oh, that's right, we made the, um, what's it called, the Beastmen, um, homeless. I would like to finish them off, however, he doesn't have the movement for it, so I guess we'll do that next turn. Assuming they're not going to, well, I guess we'll just see what happens. They've got Minotaurs there, that's a bit of an issue, but whatever. Where was I sending you, and why was I sending you there? That's right. I remember sending these guys to go attack them and just to test them out and I wasn't really that happy with them to be honest like yeah they're good but I don't know I was I was sort of expecting them to be like the the elfish mages and just be like completely overpowered but I mean they're definitely strong but eh, I wouldn't say it was necessary for my for my victory to have them um, I could take out some some of these guys over here, but I'd rather bol uh, bolster these forces up a little bit because we do need to take out the Sylvanians. Um, you have the capabilities to fight them, but I'm not even sure if I want to. Where's my diplomat anyway? Ah, oh, fuck. There is. Ah, oh, so he's already here. See, I could cancel my alliance with Avraland. The thing is, they've got a lot of forces, but they've just been doing nothing. I've been wanting them to attack someone, but they just dick around and do nothing. It's really irritating. Got half a mind just to attack them and take their settlements, because they're not doing anything. And I don't feel like bloody taking on the orcs. I feel like if I take all the orcish settlements, that they will also be a horde faction as well. Like, I'm just trying to avoid a grind, that's all, because it gets a bit boring doing it that way. Okay, I'm just going to focus on moving on to the next turn, and we'll just deal with it from there. Love these demonettes. They're definitely worth getting. Fuck Nurglings. Piece of shit. It does seem like, like... Slanesh and um, Cinch were actually the strongest of the of the uh, lords, the Chaos Lords, just based on um, just their units. Much more impressive than Corn's, just all melee units. So yeah, just, I guess I'll just, fuck it, I'll just uh, spend my money and then move on to the next one. What are the elves doing? Why did elves have, why waste such a short life? That is so crude. Okay, how long until we can actually recruit more ships? Okay, we can start getting more ships there. Because I wonder if I sink this, will that, will that give me the victory that I need? And what are the, are they going to come over here and make it fucking impossible for me to, to take this? Take this down? Don't know. Because I don't have any more land troops. I'm gonna start taking these guys out of here. They, I don't think the elves are gonna come back here. Uh, that being said, I don't even think these guys are gonna make it down south anytime soon. Fuck it. You'll you'll never get there if you don't get started. Some of you guys get moving. Yes. Get moving. What would you have us do? I'm fairly sure there's a general around here that I could use. You a drill master? Good. And also take take these with you. I don't know why, just yet. So he'll meet up with them. They'll get the drill master bonus and then they can eventually come down 
They're probably not going to be made of any use, but I'm sure you should do I don't want to disband them. Um, Your faith is flawed. Mine is not. Learn from me. Let's keep recruiting close to the frontier. Just in case. You never know when I might need some cannon fodder units. Keep on recruiting, just want lots of soldiers. Good, get myself a new bodyguard over here to command whatever forces I hire. Favors us. It's good getting some cavalry now. I mean, I really don't think that these cavalry are, are very good. They, they're just, yeah, quite simply, they're not very good. Okay, host upgrades. Yeah, keep going with the stable. Why not? Okay, that'll do. Let's move on to the next turn. Oh, they're attacking me. This could actually work better because we've got missile units. Oh, this is going to be such a slaughter. I'm fairly sure if I just kill him, that that'll that'll end the beastmen. Any factions that die now, that's certainly going to be good. The less I have to worry about. The Beastmen weren't really that much of a challenge, especially when you bring blunderbusses and stuff to the fight. But, yeah, like I said, just get rid of them anyway. Gotta get rid of everyone. Only corn can remain. Um, yeah, I'm not sure too much how this is gonna go down. Because the thing is, they're not gonna be able to shoot past this because they're short. Um, I need to reorganize this. I've got two lots of blunderbusses. I think I'd prioritize the blunder... Oh, I've actually got three lots of blunderbusses. I've got two lots of cannons as well. So they have really chosen a, a very bad day to attack. This is not going to end well for them. Organizing this shit can be a pain in the ass. Alright, there we go. Okay, these guys need a high ground to go stand on. Nah, I can't really... There isn't... Okay, there's a little bit of a high ground here. That should be okay. Let's move everyone back. Blunderbusses, of course, need this position here. So that as they're coming down here, we can shoot them. If only there was something I could do here to delay them. Maybe if I sent these guys in, just to, just to hold the line here, and if they tried to push through, just keep... Doesn't matter if they sacrifice them, or even, even these guys after them as well. See how we go with that. The prophets of Great Hashat foretell that victory will be ours today. <laughs> I'd love to be able to actually blow up the, the bridge while they're all on there. I 
don't really expect the uh, mechanics to get too often. They got slaughtered there. That's good. And it should be shooting somewhat down the line here as well. We've got to shoot these beast of Good thing about blunderbusters, they don't take too long to reload. They're just slow to get out of there. Good. If they were going to hit anyone, I'm glad they hit the beast of gores. Oh, I hear that sizzling. Puts me in the mood for barbecue. If I had mages, it would be better. Because they've got much longer range, and arguably do more damage, and even have more ammunition. I don't know, does this sort of count as being cheesy? No, I don't think so. I mean, I'm not exploiting the AI. I mean, this is a bridge battle. Is, they don't stand a chance. To be honest, how is this any different from anything else I ever do? Even if it misses, it still kind of hurts them a little bit. What are they doing? They don't seem like they're coming here. Oh, you motherfuckers. I can't win the battle if they don't if they don't get over here. This is the first army is pretty much destroyed. Maybe I'll go send them to go harass them, because they can make it back across. Maybe give it a rest and shoot these guys over here. Well, whatever. I don't know. Are they coming? There, yeah, they're coming now. Good. And they just walk across the bridge as well. It's perfect for me. We're not going to take any casualties at this rate. Those minotaurs are going to be a problem. I might actually need to sacrifice my ogres here, just to lock them in combat whilst we continue to blow up everything. send you in by yourself just for, just for now I can't let them get across the bridge because the the, the blunderbusses aren't going to do jack shit to them I don't care about these huskiles they're in a weakened state anyway the problem is now that our guys won't really shoot because of friendly fire well they'll shoot a little bit but whatever look at this they're actually wavering oh shit they didn't last long get in there get in there ogres quickly Come on, cannons. Hit them so that they, they can rout. I'm surprised to see them actually wavering. Holy shit. Did not expect that. Run them down. God, they 
I can't bloody do it. Got too many hit points. Let him go. Let him go. They'll be back. Yeah, they're already back. Can't seem to get a good shot on them. If they just want to stay there, then that's fine. Oh, did we actually hit one of them? Good. Always good to smash a few minotaurs. Yeah, you guys might want to start shooting right about now. Is about put to flight. I should have I should have put my um my demonettes over here so that they could have run them down. Not really a big deal. I mean, all we have to do is kill the chief's guard, I think, and then it ends the faction. So running these guys might not even be needed. Oh, that is a good hit. Really nice hit. Shoot. I think these uh, Chiefs Guard are going to go down so easily, so you need to get in their way. They're trying to get to the um, the blunderbusses. Can't let them loop. You get up here and fight as well. What the fuck are they doing? They're going for a swim, are they? Go get rid of these minotaurs. break again. Nope, my guys are. You get over here. You gotta not let them get over here. That's it. Oh shit, I'm gonna shoot my own men. Where's my demonettes? Run them down. Yeah, it looks like they're withdrawing. I don't really care about them too much, but I should get rid of get rid of those. We'll kill him. I'm fairly sure that'll end the faction. Okay, you guys can stop shooting now. Come you're shaking. Oh motherfucker, they came back. Looks like they still want to withdraw though. How long is it gonna take you to run this stupid fuck down? Get on with it already. Fairly sure these guys aren't going to have very good morale. 
I don't want to sacrifice these units, but maybe crashing into their flank. No, it's not doing anything. Get back. Just let him go, it doesn't matter. We've got their general. Actually, now might actually be the best time to attack them. There we go. Good, and we didn't lose any demon ads either. And we got, and we go for kill, 85%. I'm not sure if we killed 85% of both armies. I don't forget quite a few units did run away. We probably didn't even kill 85% of either army. That doesn't matter, we barely lost anything. We did actually kill, at least one of the armies got wiped out. But I think the, the whole faction is dead now because they just lost their only general's bodyguard. I think. But still, what an absolute slaughter. And they're gone. No more beastmen. That's really great. I'm happy to see that. Someone's military ranking... Well, well, no, I think it was actually financially. No one's military ranking as high as mine. Good. Even if they're just rebels there, they're not really a big deal. I, I wouldn't worry about them. This guy did what he was supposed to do. Wiped them out. Goddamn orcs, they haven't moved at all. They just sit there on choke points. If we're going to fight these guys, we should probably do so with the help of Avraland, if possible. Blood for the blood god. Blood for Since they've come the back over god. here. I might just stay put here and just see what these guys get up to. Because if I attack that there, I can only get the support of these two units here, which is not really a big deal. However, I should make efforts to kill off these guys anyway, especially their family members. So yeah, we've got to kill this guy. Um, I'd probably just send the Ogres to deal with this, since I don't have any cannons or anything like that. Ogres should easily be able to crush him. stuff. Didn't lose anyone. Great are the rewards of victory! Alright then, now what? I could take on these here. Some some good units here that we could isolate and get rid of. So they don't support the other guys later. We've also got another one over here. That's a river crossing battle which 
we don't have any cannons. So they just sit on the other side. Alright, let's just take this guy out here. It'll be good once the vampire counts are gone, then that's another faction we don't ever have to worry about. They're not they're not gonna be um, eliminated just yet though. We've we've still got a bit of work to do. But whatever happens, I need to make sure they don't get another settlement. That was part of the problem with, with Asura. Every time they gained a settlement and I kicked them out of it, they gained new armies every time. Making it very hard to get rid of them. Got some cavalry here. Let's organize it properly. Alright then, now what? We're we gonna wait for them to come to us? No. I'm gonna go to them. Uh, I'm just gonna send all the crappy infantry to go and fight. I don't give a fuck. Because they're all replaceable. Even, even, you know, all these you know, better Chaos Warriors, I don't really give that much of a shit about them. These guys will be used to run- oh, no, they're not going to run, are they? They- they fight to the death. Ogres are good against cavalry, but I'll send them in any anyway. We can we can afford to not really have a fantastic fight. Not a great battle. Uh, maybe you should stop that. I'm going to kill more of my own units. I didn't lose any um, ogres, that's good. Actually, I think this battle went really well. Who's left? Oh, there's one guy over here. Good, we kicked their ass. I sort of was expecting more casualties because they've got those good cavalry there, but they didn't really make good use of them. Okay, but I still want to keep... Oh, man, I want to put him on that. Right there. Oh, that'll be a big deal. Um, I won't worry about them. So, yeah, I'm not calling off the alliance with those guys just yet. If I can still make some use of them, I'll try to. Oh, god damn it. That's a big dwarven army. However, we've got... Loads of blunderbusses in here. Good luck to them trying to get inside. Unfortunately, there's no bloody recruits available. I can't get much from here either. Goddamn border princes there. I don't feel like taking on the orcs. Right, you let me see here. Yeah, make your way down this way. Damn, stupid, but whatever. So looking up here, how are we going with this fleet? It is still nowhere near ready to attack this. We're going to need a full stack, and even then I I think it'll lose. Because look at this, 125 men in these, in these, in this flagship here. 
What a pain in the ass. Oh, they almost made it. And what are those other fleets doing? They're on their way. Oh, motherfucker, they're blocking me from getting to to the other ship. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do then. I'll go fucking sink them. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. You've got to be shitting me. Are the, are the corn ships really that bad? Clear victory. Alright, but at least they're gone. And I didn't actually lose very much at all, so I guess either that was lucky or just good, I don't know. And it's good he gains a competent sailor, that'll make him slightly better against this, but... Seeing... I don't know how badly they performed against a dwarven ship, how the fuck are they gonna perform against all of these elves? It's gonna take us a very long time to get rid of them. And who knows if even if that's what I need to do to win against the against Asur. Alright, I need I need more shipyards. Otherwise this is gonna take way too long to get rid of them. Heaps like, where the fuck did they come from? Did they move all the way from... from... Oh, yeah, not too far, okay. There's this settlement here, which is owned by the dwarves. The fuck are these? Oh, those elders, yeah, they're a pain in the ass. Um, it's a good, strong army. I don't really feel like going after it. Right, that's very second. I can't. Okay, I might send this guy some reinforcements from up here, actually. Okay, merge them. Get rid of any there unit that's to fear, just totally useless. And how many do I need? Four. Your will. Try and choose units that are going to be useful. I don't know. I don't think they make it there. Let's get moving. But they... They wouldn't be able to... To, uh, to get rid of them. Because if they attack, I just withdraw. I think. Every what the fuck is this? These goddamn people here. Just piss off. Okay, um, hang on, don't do that, because we should try and get a man of the hour. So, stand out here and then do it. We didn't lose very much, that's good, and makes no difference, ransom them, who cares. Not a very good general, but whatever, at least we got rid of all of these rebel generals or whatever, I don't know who that... Oh, that's right, that would have been the leftover from Telebook Land and Stirland, I guess. Because Mordheim was where the crusade was. was um, it is, in fact, still after after us. Because we haven't destroyed the Grand Theogonist. And I don't know where his fucking people have gone. The Archlector named Adolf. Interesting. Where are they going? I don't care. Got Valkyrie here. Could I send her down? No, I couldn't. We haven't taken any settlements this turn. But, but to be honest, it doesn't matter that much. Let's go here, it's a bit ready to catch up. So what we want to do here is just sneak by and get to the dwarf 
uh, the Chaos Dwarf capital and take it. So now there's only nine factions that we need to, to eliminate. Because we can't get rid of rebels as a faction. Alright, bring all these guys down what south. That's plenty of troops. I don't think we'll need any more. As you wish, Lord of Ruin. Downside to those, they take two turns to recruit. Good, for the most part we're on top of things there. He doesn't have any cannons yet. This might be a turn where we can't actually take any settlements. I mean, I could, I just don't. Don't feel like grinding up against this using the uh, the blunderbuss technique. It, it, it does really get boring. I'd rather crossbows. What to do with you? Why don't you come and stand here on the bridge, and if the orcs attack us, at least... We'll have the uh, the bridge. Oh, God, they've got rock lobbers. So they'll probably have a bit of an advantage if they cross the river. Grimgore the Scarred? Is that Grimgore Ironhide? I don't think so. Could be though. And we've got some border princes on their way here. All these goddamn generals. I don't know what to do with you. What should we do? I'll bring you over here, because very soon we're going to attack Averland. we need here? Um, more troops would be good. There's an army here. It's not really in the best of shape, but let's move it, move it down here as well. Shit. That's okay. It's just fixed. How many settlements do I have? 104. It's good. We, really, we can't be stopped now, obviously. Even if we lost a bloody dozen battles, it wouldn't make any difference. We're too strong. So yeah, just spending the last of my money, then we'll move on to the next turn. Okay, I think I've... I, I don't even know if I've done everything that I need to, but... I'm kind of waiting for better situations before I make my move, so let's move on. Fucking bloody Sylvanians didn't attack. Uh, what's its face? Um, Arver um, Everland. What I think we can put a stop to that. So let's see here. Victory or death. Yeah, they didn't do what I wanted them to do. Oh yeah, I'm making a fortune here. to do now. It's 
So yeah, this settlement's under siege. If we just leave, leave a B, they'll probably win. I could send some forces there to stop them. But should this be the turn that we we get rid of Averland as an ally and um, attack them? Because they've got considerable forces. Of the factions that remain, they're one of the strongest. But they're just not doing anything to help me, that's all. And if I come down all the way down to this point here, and then have to backtrack, it just takes a long time. You know, backtrack to go and kill them. Best to just get rid of them now, somewhat. And what the fuck are we going to do about these Sylvanians? Where'd the rest of them go? Oh, there's some over here. Some there. So there's a little bit here and there. There was the fucking full stacks inside the cities. It's just that it's a big grind to get in there, that's all. Okay, Wolfsbach over here would be pretty easy to take. I'd go for a draw out just because there can't be stuff to do in, uh, in uh, it any other way. So I'm going to cancel the alliance because I don't give a shit about these guys anymore. And we'll have you deal with this. Alright, I want you to attack this guy here, but I also want to make sure they don't run away. And before I do this, there's a general in here. Could cause a crash. Alright, I'll do something I, I normally don't. I'm going to quick save it. If this crashes in the video, like, you, you'll be able to see the battle. But in the next episode, we're basically starting at this point here, and I simply just won't do that. Because I doubt I'll be able to just order... I might be able to order resolve it, actually. Um, anyway, send these first. So I'm going to reorganize this. I mean, if all goes well, it's not going to crash. It's not going to matter anyway. Alright, good, because we don't want to just bring them, I just want to test the waters with that one. Alright, and the rest of you come over here. Ah, oh, right, one of their other armies is showing up. What if we did a night attack? There we go, this is what we want, we don't want this guy here to show up. Nice, alright, do that. I mean, why, why make the battle more difficult than it needs to be? Just so we'll do an iron attack that keeps them out, but that other guy that we do want to kill is, is there. Fuck Avalon. They were doing nothing for us. Allies are useless. I mean, the Savanians were right there and they didn't do jack shit. They're better just to get rid of them. Because eventually they'll revert back to um, Sigma and... Um, then they'll just be an enemy again. So, we're not doing anything here, really. Okay. Now, we need to make sure we wipe them out, because this is a draw-out effort. Okay, it'll be a little while before the enemy reinforcements get here. And don't forget, most of their forces are infantry anyway, so we should be fine. Come on, blow them up. Hey, they're out of range when they hit this point here. Motherfuckers. Alright, we'll need to move up then. You able to shoot them from here? Nope, need to move up closer then. Still, we should be able to shoot them at a reasonable angle. This is a nice open plane here. They're on the high ground, yeah, but it's not, not too bad. And deal with this. And if we blow enough of them up, they'll come to us. 
Oh, hang on, we're not in range yet. We're close though, just a few more steps forward. Okay, and now we can... Oh, fucking hell, still not in range. Alright, just a little bit closer then. There we go. It might be a wobble if we land a hit. Well, at least we killed one man. There we go, here we go. Now starting to get some hits. So, 10% of them killed so far, that's, that's decent, I mean, could have been better. But then again, we've only used up half our ammunition. Maybe let's get in a little bit closer. Oh, fuck using the, um, those guys. Oh shit, they're right on me. Fucking hell. Well, I had my back turned, they, they came at us. Um. But, uh, we still got the better of them. They caught me with my pants down, but they were very stupid in regard to what they did. Come on, shoot this one. Okay, you get over here. You need to run down anyone that comes over this way. Shoot these Norman pikemen. Nice. Uh, it's just. Oh no, that's Prince Boris. We got the guy we needed. Okay, you two. Yeah, stop shooting. Get over here. You're gonna run them down. The battle is pretty much over. There we go. Now we just need to run down 85% of them. We did we barely lost anything. Yeah, no none of that shit. No shooting. Live a bit. Let's run them down. Good thing we got demonettes. They make running down enemy units very easy. Make sure every last one of them are killed. Alright, that'll do. Both armies are wiped out. Very good. I think the enemy captain managed to get away though. And good, we get ourselves a city, and it didn't crash, so that's all good. 
Yeah, fuck the alliance. Doesn't need it. Very nice. Now, of course, now that we've gone to war with them, I imagine that these guys are actually going to wake up and, and try and fight us because the AI tend not to fight the AI very well, but they fight against the humans a hell of a lot with a hell of a lot more fervor sometimes. But for the most part, it'll be easy. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe, part 78's next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.